Welcome back. Happy Friday, everyone. From the skating rink to the bobsleds, the Winter Olympics is gearing up for another historic event. And the athletes heading to the games are bringing the heat. We're going to take a preview of the ones to watch today in Things to Care About. Hi. <gasps> Look at that cute little graphic. Oh, that is so cute. We got That's new so graphics, fun. guys. We did. Very excited. Have you noticed? On Monday, new graphics, new music. Yeah, we're, thanks we're for commenting. We are. We're trying to freshen up. A Has little anybody commented? No. Yes, I think so. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, the, the the praise is pouring in. It is. I was like pre. <laughs> I, I like that preemptive. Yeah. Like, uh -huh. thanks for commenting. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, Let's get into it, shall Let's we? Do it. All right. There will be a total of 109 medal events across 15 sports. Seven of those events are brand new to the Olympic Ooh, program. We always I like, like to tell you about new and improved but just new in this case. The new in, uh, additions include several mixed teams, meaning male and female events, continuing a recent trend oh. for the Olympics. All right, let's get into it. This first woman, Erin Jackson. Okay, if you haven't heard of her, please Google her. All right, she's the world's top female speed skater. She'll be making her second Olympic appearance, but she almost didn't make it. So Jackson failed to qualify for the Olympics when she slipped and yes. finished in qualifying in the 500 meter. That's right. Her close friend, though, and teammate Brittany Bove, who finished first, gave up her spot, allowing Jackson to go for the gold at the Olympic Games. Last November, Jackson became the first black woman to win a speed skating World Cup event, and mm. she is currently ranked number one in the women's 500 meter by the International Skating Union. So so this is so interesting. So, you know, her friend was saying, Brittany, her teammate, don't worry, she's also going she's to the going, Olympics. She's yes. competing in two other events. But she said, you know, she deserves to be there. She's number one in the world. She had an unfortunate slip in qualifying, so gave up her spot because there were only two that? people that were qualifying um, to go for the yes. gold. So and they've close. known each other for years. Yeah. They, they grew up together in Ocala, in Ocala, Florida. Ocala, yes, yes. That's right near Tampa. Well. Maybe Love you it. saw them skating yeah. by you one day. No, and they're young. Yeah. Oh. But it's incredible when <laughs> really you think is. of the friendship and the camaraderie and the fact that, like she said, like it's she that, deserves the time it. that, yeah. that, mm -hmm. that tiny little yeah. slip just you yeah. know, would have pre prevented her from going. And so her teammate was not going to let that happen. It's pretty cool. Uh, all right, this next woman, Elena Myers-Taylor. She's a three-time Olympic medalist. She's a Georgia native. She's from Douglasville. And she's favorite to she's a favorite to win in the monobob. What is the monobob, you ask? Well, let me tell you, it's a new female-only Olympic event where one sledder does it all, basically an individual single-person bobsleigh competition. Myers-Taylor secured the women's monobob overall World Cup title. So make sure you catch her. Uh, she's definitely one to watch, and she's just so interesting all around. She has a son with Down syndrome. She talks a lot about caring with a kid, for caring for a kid with special needs, and I just love her story. And she's very open uh, about, you know, how when she had her son, mono bobbing and bobsledding was the furthest thing from her mind. Um, so I love that she can do it all. As yes. They say. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. That scares me. I mean, it scares me when there's two, sure. much less <laughs> right. when you're uh, yeah, yeah. manning the sled by yourself. I know. Good for her. I, I got to watch that. Manning the sled by yourself. I like yeah. that. All right, this next one's Chloe Kim. She's a 21-year-old. Um, she turned heads in Pyeongchang four years ago. She was only 17. She won the gold in the half pipe. You probably, she had a lot of publicity after that, but she became the youngest American to ever medal in yes. snowboarding. Now she is favored yet again to repeat as the Olympic half pipe champion. Despite her success, she recently shared her struggles with mental health. If you um, Google her, you can find all the articles about kind of what she went through post fame as a 17 year old sort of being thrust into the spotlight right. after she won the gold medal and just kind of what she went through after that. So. Well. It's a is. lot of pressure just yeah. being this incredible I can't imagine. athlete, mm -hmm. much less than what comes with it, the notoriety, right. all the attention. It's mm -hmm. It's got to be overwhelming at any age, much less sure. when you're in your teens. Yeah, this next one um, we're excited about. John Schuster, Duluth, Minnesota's own. They had a big send-off for him. He's the curling legend, and he'll be back for his fifth Winter Olympics after two straight disappointing Olympic appearances in 2010 and 2014. Aww. But Schuster and his team finally won gold in 2018, yes. a first for the Americans in the event. No one has ever won multiple gold medals in men's curling, but Schuster and his team want to take a stab at it, saying his team is full of Fighters. Yes, for sure. We also were going to talk about Sean White because they say it's going to be his last Olympics, his fifth Olympics. Mm -hmm. I have 
do not remember life without Sean White in the Olympics. And so I was like, how old is he? Yes. He's only 35 or 36. Also dating Nina Dobrev from Vampire Diaries, in case you need to know that. Whoa, Kara, yep. drop in the pop culture knowledge. <laughs> well, I love that. Yeah. I know, and I've seen the Sean promos. White. And yes. He's, uh -huh. You know, he's. this is it. This yeah. is going to be it That's for That's funny him, you mentioned so. that promo, because James was like, do you know who Sean White is? Just from that commercial, he was just yes. so excited. So. I'm so excited. Tune in. Next I know, next week. week. Next week, opening ceremonies. Mm -hmm. That's what, Friday the 4th? Yes. Is it? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love it. Right here on 11 Alive, your mm -hmm. NBC station. Oh.